Hey, so we got to talk about this. This is a keyword. It's a reference to the object where this is used. The object depends on the immediate context. If we had a person object and we're accessing their name property, we could replace person with this. As long as we're within the context of that person object, we'll create an object. Const person one. Let's add a property for name. The name will be SpongeBob. And a favorite food property. Fave food. SpongeBob likes hamburgers. More specifically, Krabby Patties. I will give SpongeBob a say hello method. This will be a function. All we're going to do is console.log. I'll use a template string. Hi, I am. I'll use a placeholder. Let's attempt to use person one's name. Let's see what happens. Let's take our object of person one. I will invoke their say hello method. Let's see what happens. Hello, I am. And there's nothing here for the name. Inside of this object of person one, if I would like to access one of these properties, I'm going to precede the property with this. This dot the name of the property. And that should work. Hi, I'm SpongeBob. We're using this within the context of person one. It would be like us saying person one dot name. There would be no difference. This is a reference to the object we're within. If I said this dot favorite food, well, fave food for short. Hi, I am hamburgers. It would be like us saying person one dot fave food. Let's add another method. I will add an eat method. Let's console.log. I'll use another template string. Add a placeholder. This dot name is eating. Add another placeholder. This dot fave food. Let's have person one use their eat method. SpongeBob is eating hamburgers. The cool thing about the this keyword is that if we create a new object with these same methods, we'll use the second object's properties. Let's copy person one, paste, change person one to person two. The name for person two will be Patrick. Favorite food will be pizza. Let's have person two use their eat method. SpongeBob is eating hamburgers. Patrick is eating pizza. Since we're in the context of person two now, imagine we're replacing this with person two. Person two dot name, person two dot fave food. If you were to use this outside of any objects, I'm going to console.log this. What we're returned with is a window object. Basically, we're returning the window to see our website. Technically, we're inside of an object already, our window object. And we have all of these properties. But since we're using the this keyword inside the context of person one and person two, we'll instead make a reference to those objects. Hey, one thing I forgot to mention, the this keyword doesn't work with arrow functions. For example, with person two, let's convert this to an arrow function. Blank is eating undefined. When you use this within an arrow function, it's making a reference to that window object still. Our window object does have a name, that's why it's appearing empty, but fave food is undefined because our window object doesn't have a favorite food property. Alright everybody, so that is the this keyword. We will be using this keyword a lot. All it is, is a reference. A reference to the object where this is used. And that is the this keyword in JavaScript.